Hey, I'm Stephen. I'm here to talk about shutter speed today. Um, shutter speed when in a camera, you're talking about DSLRs or SLRs with a physical shutter. And the shutter is actually in, in between the lens and the sensor of the DSLR camera or the film in, the, in an SLR camera. And it actually physically shutters up and down. Um, in a mirrorless camera, they don't really have a shutter anymore, which is why it's called a mirrorless camera. The mirror is actually on the shutter. Um, but when you're talking about DSLRs and SLRs, uh, the shutter physically goes up and down in between the lens and the sensor to create or let the light through onto the sensitive uh, sensor and create the image. Um, to illustrate that in a physical sense, if you look at my phone here, if you imagine the screen of my phone is the sensor or the film in the camera, the shutter is this bit here that flops up and down, okay? Now, when you're talking about the shutter speed, it means how fast this shutter goes up and down inside the camera. The light's coming through the lens onto the shutter here, and usually when you're looking through the viewfinder, the mirror on the, on the shutter is actually pointing it into your eye, so you can see what's happening through the lens. Whereas when you open the shutter, the light goes straight to the sensor, and it creates the image, okay? So a fast shutter speed means this shutter will go up and down very, very quickly. A slow shutter speed means this will go up and down really, really slowly. The slower the shutter speed, the more motion you will capture or blurriness you will capture in your image. The faster the shutter speed, the more frozen your image will look. And here's an example. I've got my camera set up here. I'm gonna take a photo of that rock with all the water moving around it with a very fast shutter speed of 1 3,200th of a second, okay? And here we go. That's the image. You can notice that all the water, it kind of looks like glass. It's frozen in time, the movement of the water itself. The peaks and the trough of the water are very white and dark. And you can see it all moving around well, it's frozen, but you know it's moving. But the beauty of still photography is that you're actually making it still in a single image of a fraction of a second of a time, okay? Now I'm now gonna take a photo of the same rock, but I'm gonna slow the shutter speed down to five seconds. To do that, because it is a bright day, I'm gonna put on an ND filter. An ND filter blocks the amount of light coming through to the camera. It's kind of like a sunglasses for the camera. So you put it on the end of the lens and light gets stopped quite a bit. This one's an ND400 filter. So it's around about eight to 10 stops worth of light that gets stopped to go through the camera, okay? And all I do is just screw it on the end of the lens. If I took a photo now, the photo will come out really, really, with the same settings, really, really dark. So I want to up the shutter speed to about five seconds. And I'm gonna take the same shot that I did before. Oops, it's a bit bright. Let's up the f-stop a little bit. And here we go, this is the result. You can see that the water is now all blurred because it's moving. Throughout that five seconds, the, mover, water, the moving water was moving around, refracting light everywhere, and the shutter has been open to the sensor through that, that whole five seconds. So during that five seconds, the, the moving water has moved the highlights all around, the peaks and the troughs have moved all about, and throughout that five seconds, it's all been reflecting light into the sensor. So it's really five seconds worth of time compressed into an instant that you see in the photograph, which is a great thing about photography. It's really, 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 really interesting how it does that. It really uh, changes how you look at the world. Okay, now behind you, there's a fire going on. I didn't light it, it was just there when I arrived, but it's really, really useful for what I'm talking about because I'm going to freeze the smoke with a very fast shutter speed and a fire. Whew. 
So very, very, very fast shutter speed of about, again, 3,200 of a second. And let's, okay, let's see how that goes. Oops, I need to take off the filter. Otherwise it'll become very, very dark. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Yeah, it's lower the shutter speed just a little bit. Just to grab some light, there we go. That's, uh, okay. Yeah, the smoke's moving about. Yeah. We'll get there in a second. You see the smoke is moving about. I really want to freeze it in time. There we go, okay. Here is some smoke frozen in time. Now you can see that it's stopped, even though it's moving. That's a very, very fast shutter speed of 2,500th of a second. Now, if I slow it down using, I don't think I need the filter, but let's, let's just experiment. Okay. Let's uh, change where my tripod's looking. Okay. Okay. Now I want to lower the shutter speed, so I'm going to up the f-stop so not much, much, much light gets in. Okay, let's go two and a half seconds. Let's see what happens. And it's very, very bright. Okay, let's lower the ISO, the sensitivity of the camera, and the speed to about 1.6 seconds. All right, we're getting there. There again, the smoke's just moving about because of the wind. That's it. Okay, and here's a shot here. You notice that the smoke is now moving about, just like the water was. Um, and yeah, that's shutter speed. So shutter speed really allows you to freeze time or make blurred, blurry images. Hope you enjoyed this little lesson. Thank you.